In this reaction, we're going to compare temperature effect and the effect of a catalyst on the color change that we see in the situation. We use a, a, what's known as Rochelle salt, which is potassium, tartrate, sodium tartrate tetrahydrate, and then the color agent is the cobalt 2 chloride hexahydrate. And then we're working with 30% peroxide and how that influences the change in color and basically we set this up at different temperatures and then see how that influence the temperature changes the rate at which the color presents itself in the reaction. Um, again working with hydrogen peroxide 30% you know, the normal safety precautions there to wear gloves and things like that um, because of how the peroxide sometimes will bubble and react there it isn't going to explode, isn't going to get very energetic, but it is going to react. You want to be prepared with the normal safety uh, lab gear of goggles and safety glasses and things like that, lab coat. All right, the explanation of this reaction is that the copper or cobalt chloride dissolves in a water into water to form a cobalt uh, water 2 plus ion and this complex ion in the presence of the tartrate and the hydrogen peroxide then transitions to green cobalt tartrate color. From there then it breaks down and oxidizes to cobalt 3 and then that returns and that returns to one of the tartrate ligands with carbon dioxide being released and so that's the bubbling that we see is the carbon dioxide coming off there. So then that tartrate ligand then is oxidized further and it breaks down then back into cobalt 2 plus, which is the original pink color that you see. And so that's what returns at the end. And the rate at which those progress through those different steps of the ions that are formed is gonna be dependent on the temperature they're at. So they're each at different temperatures and you see them begin to progress back and end up all then finally back at the cobalt 2 plus uh, uh, pink color. So you see that we've uh, time-lapsed some of the video there because it takes quite a while. So this demo, if you do it at the room temperature, 25 degrees centigrade, it's gonna take 10 minutes plus. And so it may be one you wanna start and be lecturing about other things and come back and they can see it progressing. What you can do is start it off at the different temperatures and have the class focus on the one at 65 degrees because in that one, they're gonna get a quick snapshot of what's gonna happen the other ones in a much longer time frame. And so at 65 degrees, you're gonna see a just step right through the colors and you have to watch quickly because sometimes they're not there long and then it's back to the cobalt 2 plus pink color so that one you can get that gives them the survey of what they're going to see and then you can see how it goes and kind of creates class attention as they keep watching the next one just changed and then a little later the next one just changed and then eventually the room temperature is going to be the slowest